Do you think that the requirements in terms of soft skills will change in the future? If so, how and why? I think that the requirements for soft skills are not going to change so much in the future. The reason being, soft skills are always going to be the same. Adaptability, the main one being self-awareness, because the more self-aware you are, the better able you are to develop your other soft skills. And these things, whether you're behind the screen, whether you're face to face with people, doesn't really matter. You know, you're always going to be required to have those kind of soft skills. So in the future, now, maybe there'll be more AI, more robots, but if there are, you know, more of these kind of things replacing humans, I think the soft skill element will become even more important because obviously the robots can do all the things that require hard skills and humans will be more inclined to do uh, soft skill type work. What soft skills should an employee bring or update to a good job in the future? I think that the most important one is self-awareness. If a person can be self-aware and sort of observing what they do and how they function uh, at work, they're better able to improve themselves. So with self-awareness you can improve other soft skills such as adaptability, such as collaboration, such as emotional intelligence, to be able to actually understand how other people feel and what you say and how that affects them. These are all really important, but without self-awareness you can't reflect, you can't learn and develop. Do you pay specific attention to soft skills when hiring employees, trainees or students? And if so, how? Yes, I pay specific attention to these skills. Soft skills, I believe, are really important because without them, you can't really do your job well. You can't work well as a team, you can't collaborate, and you can't adapt to new situations. So when I'm interviewing either a permanent member of staff or a temporary member of staff, I always value soft skills. And the way I do it is I ask the right kinds of questions to bring about uh, an idea, to get an idea of what kind of soft skills they have. I'll ask them questions such as, uh, what would you do in this situation to test their adaptability and maybe uh, how do you see yourself working as a team if I wanted to test their collaboration for example. According to you, are soft skills as important as hard skills? I would say they're both pretty important. I would say soft skills are something you learn as you go on the job. They're more sort of as you gain experience you learn to develop your soft skills through your job. Hard skills on the other hand can be learned through a course through consolidation, through study, and can actually be applied to the job. So I recommend anyone who's interested in uh, a job where you're dealing with a lot of people all the time, um, try it out, do the job. You'll build up soft skills on the way. Learn, be receptive and learn from people who you know are doing a good job, and try to avoid what people you think are doing a bad job, the kind of traits that they do, in order to develop your soft skills more.